set Trump up. Set Trump up, yo. Trump set Trump up for what? So after he loses, uh huh, we got the cure. We got oh, the vaccine. Yeah, we the got vaccine. the vaccine. Motherfucking the... Monday. You know what that shit's about? What'd you think? I don't think they trusted Trump to administer it, bro. I mean that sincerely. Nah. Wait, what do you mean that they announced it now? I think that they announced it this way so because it's Pfizer, probably going to take Pfizer. Let's just tell the people Pfizer announced that uh, they have a vaccine and it's ninety percent effective. Right. And stocks are skyrocketing as we speak. Yeah. everything is up, bro, mm. except Amazon apparently. Well, uh, yeah, the stocks that were killed by Corona are up, and the stocks that did great during Corona are down. Mm. So, like Amazon thrives in Corona, and if Corona's over. It's going to come down a little bit uh, to a realistic number. Amazon's obviously yeah, going to always be around, but uh, airplane stocks went crazy because motherfuckers are going to start traveling again because they're not terrified of the airports. Mm. Uh, but uh, but I think what this is is because it's probably going to take them what like six months or something like that to get enough of these. Yeah, the big issue with it is the cool chain. That's cool what they call chain. it. They call it like the cool chain system. So basically, like being able to transport vaccines at scale at like super low temperatures because they have to stay right. like at like. Right. Like, and you have to do that to 300. And, well, they're saying 330 million people, probably 200 million people have to take yeah. it. Right? It has Kids to be like don't need specialized it. trucks, specialized airplanes, all this shit to keep it at like negative 100 right. degrees or whatever. And I think the argument with kids is they might not need it. But if they can give it to people, yeah, you might want your kid to have right, it. Right. But one, whatever, it doesn't matter. The point is, um, if it's going to take six or nine months to get this shit to everybody, Maybe what they did is they held on as long as they possibly could because they were like, we don't believe Trump has the ability or the wherewithal to execute the admi- the administration of this drug. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To and wait six months. Yeah, not, not even uh, wait six months, but like we don't know if he'll be able to do it. Uh, so maybe they had it three months ago. And maybe this is what Trump kept on talking about. It's any day now. It's any day now. And they were like, uh, you need a few more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> because they're like, we think you'll botch this. You've botched Corona. Yeah. We think you'll botch this. That's what I was talking to some of my like political folks. They're mm. like, this has probably been ready for a while. Right. And there's no, I mean, it, this is not a coincidence that they that they mention it the day after mm. they confirmed the bodies. Right. Because Trump might not be involved in the literal like passing out and like transportation of the drug, but he could put out a tweet like, I'm not getting no vaccine or whatever. And not only people, not could, could he put and he could probably put that out right now and still yeah. fuck it up. Maybe. But like not only that, but like he might try to rush it. He might go, mm-hmm. well, who needs all the fucking cooling systems? Let's go it out there. He might be so anxious to get this drug to the mm. people that he would risk the efficacy, I believe the term yeah. is, mm-hmm. of the drug. And that's why maybe there's some pushback. So like, I don't know. I mean, but also you look at that, you're like, yo, that's kind of foul. The you playing politics was so with blatant. motherfuckers' lives right there? Yeah, like, that's, that's foul. Up. If you had this shit six months ago, somebody's mom is dead because you didn't put it out. No, no, yeah. no. I, I don't think that's the case because uh, trials take a really long time. Mm. So it's like, I just think they're at the 90% effective rate because of the latest results of the trials going gotcha. on. That's what they're seeing. So and just they so were just happy. really happy to report that. I still don't think it's ready for a distribution. A Monday, uh, yeah. I see, I see, a see, Monday see. news break though, two days after the election, seems so blatant. Maybe it's it's so blatant it can't be on purpose. But yeah. like Trump is gone Saturday. The next moment you can drop news, basically, hey, ninety percent uh, efficacy on this vaccine. Let's yeah. go. Also during the debate, they were like, "Yo, Trump, you have a vaccine?" And he was like, "Yeah, it's coming." Like apparently, really good results, and everyone called him a liar. Mm. Biden called him a liar in the debate. He's like, "Nah, he's lying." Mm. He's not lying. Turns out, yeah. But what happens when you lie so much? Yeah. That's yeah. the boy who cried wolf. Yeah. Mm. Or the girl, whoever it was. <laughs> it was a girl or a boy? It was a boy. It was a boy? Yeah. Why are you scared of that wolf? Yo, just run, son. Yeah. Go man, inside. Bro. Go inside. <laughs> don't you got an inside? You're not going to outrun a wolf. Oh, gosh. Come on, bro. And wolves don't play. Yeah. You can only outrun bears and lions. Yeah. I can outrun a bear, obviously. Son, get out of here. Lions, I'm thinking differently now. Oh, now? Yeah, because I've seen the the side to side. I but did. bears, pigeon toed. I'll run out. I'll outrun anything pigeon toed. Also, there's been a lot of uh, controversy over Taylor's claim that she ran a. Uh, oh, yeah. We're going to act. When she's gonna, back. We, when she's back. Yeah, when yeah. she's back, we're going to have a whole I conversation. I brought that up that. on idiots. I brought that up on idiots, yeah, right? Yeah. She said she ran an 11 6. Someone in the flagrant. I believed it because I don't know what that means. Yo, someone in the flagrant Reddit did a whole breakdown of, of like the mile per yeah, hour, like mile per hour with a bear compared like analysis compared like, to DK Metcalf. 
<laughs> DK Metcalf is yeah. this wide receiver for the Seattle Seahawks. Maybe the fastest man in the league. One, yeah, one of the yeah, yeah. fastest guys in the yeah. league. And I think when he ran down Buda whatever, Baker, Buda Baker, he was yeah. running at like 22 miles per hour, and Taylor's pace is like 24 <laughs> miles per hour. <laughs> Some shit, man. Get yeah. the fuck out. So of we got to call her on when she gets back. We got to call. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. we got to all race her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm too old my for that. I'll let y'all do that. <laughs> I'll come in last to prove a point because I won't be trailing her by that much. You yeah. can be second to Control last. Control group. Control group, bro. That's Al, you too top heavy. You couldn't even outrun a fucking uh, Swiss prison or whatever the fuck police officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bobble that, bobble that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have Biden, bro. <laughs> you nerd. <laughs> like Biden fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about Swiss Army knives or whatever. <laughs> right. so, so what else we got, man? Some uh, feelings, no facts. Let's did we do it. did we make fun of the fact that Kim voted for? <laughs> I did on social, but yeah. Yeah. you know the thing is for me is like what a fucking like yo style bender commented this shit cracked me up. He said uh, that's a that's a clout trout. Yo, cloud trout. Funny. Cloud trout. That is that's great. Cloud trout that's is great. hilarious. But that's what these these people oh, do, there's man. There's so many layers to that. That's so good. Yeah. The lips and yeah. all that yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, oh, Not man. only the both lips. Yeah. <laughs> could be like a trout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trout so, snapper or something. <laughs> so the thing is like when you are whole when your whole like life is based around clout or like likes or social media attention. You don't even realize your own hypocrisy. So there's this picture that she posts of Biden and Kamala. And yeah. she puts four blue hearts. Blue hearts, mind you. Mm-hmm. Not red hearts. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, her ass been voting, right? Mm-hmm. She gets behind Biden. This is the levels of hypocrisy behind this are unbelievable. She gets behind Biden and Kamala. What is the one thing that she worked with Trump on? Freeing uh, Alice Johnson, I think was it? Prison name? reform? Yeah, prison yeah. reform. I want to work on prison reform, mm-hmm. right? Oh, that's a good point. Kamala, <laughs> locking motherfuckers up left and right in yep. California yep. for nothing, mm-hmm. mind you, blocking evidence that could potentially free them, right? Biden, the crime bill dawn, getting people locked up left and right. Matter of fact, the people that Kim is freeing are probably on some level locked up because of Biden crime bills. <laughs> How the fuck are you going to put these blue heart now? I understand if you try and do some like unity shit, but then you don't heart it. You go, I understand we might have our disagreements, but I'm looking forward to working with you on on crime reform. Something like that. Don't just throw these fucking hearts. Not to mention your husband ran. Yeah. <laughs> your husband ran for yeah. president. Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck could you possibly put that up? Your husband ran. And if you knew your husband ran as some massive um, ploy for attention. If this was just a big PR move and you knew the whole fucking time, fuck you. Yeah. Don't act like you're some activist out here trying to make change and you're going to let your husband potentially peel away votes from one candidate so that so that could have either help or affect uh, negatively a result that you wanted. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like this, this woman, bro. <laughs> So easy to hate, man. So easy. Like, how do you make yourself so easy to hate? And don't get me wrong. I understand girls want to dress like them and all that kind of shit. And they're like, yeah. fashion. Change the world. Fashionistas. Yeah. And low-key, like, part of, like, Kanye's brand being so valuable, low, I'm starting to think, is like, is it just because these Kardashian girls have so much goddamn uh, clout when it comes to clothing and they all put that shit on and they made it look hot? Mm. Like I really am starting to wonder like is Kanye the reason why his shit is so successful or does he happen to be married to the biggest influencers on the planet especially in the clothing department mm. and they single handedly built that shit for Kanye. Mm-hmm. One thing I'll give Kanye is that he kind of elevated Kim's fashion game when they got together. But their influence on fashion was still pretty big. Son, years so, like they were in like in high fashion like he he, he was his sneakers were killing fashion. it before Kim. The Yeezys, I think, were pretty big before yeah. Kim. Right they literally the owned a store that sold clothes called Dash. That was what they did for a living. No, I know. But I mean, like, she wasn't respected in the high fashion world. She was still looked at as just like a video vixen or whatever mm. the case is. And then he got her on, like, the Vanity Fairs and those bigger type of magazine. Fair enough. Maybe. Shit. But I think the, the regular average female was looking at what she was wearing and going, I want to wear that. And now literally all of them, if any of them wear a bag, that bag is sold out. If any of them wear a pair of pants, that, those pants are sold out. They wear sandals, those things are sold out. Yeah. Anything that they put on is gold. It's like when a, a first lady wears some shit. Maybe not Melania, but remember when Michelle would put on a dress yeah. and that shit was off the shelves? So I'm starting to think like, all right, so maybe you guys are really at least 
partially responsible for using. Yeah. Oh, for sure, so, partially. Yeah, yeah, definitely, they got to right. I don't know. It's just such fraudulence. I see that you shit. Should, you should watch me. her with Dave Letterman. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I watched the it. first part of that. Oh, you did. Yeah, it's like. I think she's been doing this whole social media clout thing for so long. She's convinced, like she, it's not a lie anymore. It's not she, bullshit. She's she Andrew Dice Clay. It. Yeah. She like started to believe yeah, this yeah, character yeah. that she's yeah. put up. Put I, like forth. she actually sounds genuine about the law and getting people out. Like she really is about that. She mentioned Armenia at all? No. Interesting, huh? <laughs>